me and, you know, and, it was that, and sweating and feeling, you know, that was one of the few nightmares I, I still remember very dramatically to this day. This is Times Square, New York, prior to the start of a civil defense drill, highlighting Operation Alert. The drill is part of the survival phase of the fourth such test held in this country. Less than two minutes after the take cover signal, the streets were cleared. Times Square is deserted. They wrote a piece for Esquire uh, about the whole madness of the civil defense drills, and I interviewed some general who was in charge of, uh, in charge of civil defense for New York in case of an atomic attack. And he kept talking to me you know, and all this jargon. And I said, look, just, just tell me this. Well, what happens if an anabomb actually hits New York? And he says, you mean ground zero? You know, and I said, yeah, the, the, what if it hits Manhattan? He says, well, he says, it's goodbye New York. So I wrote a piece called Goodbye New York. What would you do if you heard the air raid warning system here in Denver sound the warning that a genuine, a real atomic attack was imminent? Well, I think just what we're supposed to do, and that is to find our shelters. I think I'd find the baby, get a chair, sit down and wait. I know nothing else to do. You don't know where you'd wait? Inside. I wouldn't go in the cellar. Mm -hmm. Sit in the living room. Put your trust in what? God. Beyond right. that, I have none other. Again, the fireball. Now, for dramatic effect, we superimpose it on the skyline of New York. The heart of the metropolis would be instantaneously transformed into an inferno, while shock and heat waves devastated the rest of the city. You really learned that there could be an absolute atomic disaster in your town. We had a nice house in Huntington Woods, Michigan, and, and, and we had a fruit cellar down there. And at my behest, and I'm not sure my wife thought I was in my right, right mind, but we put bunks down there, and we put sleeping bags down there, and we put extra water down there, and we put canned food down there. And I, I kept trying to figure out some way to reinforce the ceiling. I don't think I ever figured that out. But the theory was that when we heard the sirens go, we were all going to run down there and go down there. We might have to stay in there for two weeks. So we had it stocked up to support us for two weeks. A new housing development near Denver, Colorado, shows the nation's first model homes with built-in fallout shelters. The room is designed with an atomic war in mind. But behind each eight-inch thick reinforced concrete wall, it may prove to be just what the harried housewife is looking for when life with the kids gets too hectic. When I was in high school, I had a boyfriend whose neighbor was terrified of the bomb. You can have as much explosive force as you want in a nuclear world, but you can't necessarily win when you get that much in the world. It, there, there is a level beyond which to use the force you have at your hand destroys you as well as your enemy.